In the wake of Max Verstappen's record-equaling weekend, we find ourselves at the revered Temple of Speed for the 2023 F1 Italian Grand Prix. This is Ferrari's home race, where the passionate Tifosi fans paint the town red. It's a weekend that boasts perhaps the most fervent fans in the sport. So what can we anticipate from the 2023 F1 Italian GP? Join us as we delve into the preview and offer our race predictions. Verstappen will not win. Max. Verstappen demonstrated his medal in Zandvoort, surmounting ever-changing weather conditions to secure his ninth consecutive victory. In Monza, he is eyeing his tenth consecutive win, a milestone that continues to grow more enviable with each race. As we approach the 2023 F1 Italian GP, the challenges are expected to remain somewhat consistent. Weather could once again play a disruptive role on Sunday, so all eyes are on the Red Bull driver to see if he can clinch that elusive 10th win in a row. However, he will most certainly be challenged by the likes of Norris and Leclerc, as the track is better suited to MCL 60 and SF 23. So an end to the winning streak of the Dutchman is surely to happen at Monza. Our prediction would be that either Norris or Leclerc will snatch the win from the reigning world champion. Lando Norris will be on podium. McLaren suffered a brutal mistake in their strategy calls during the rain-soaked Dutch GP, which meant that Lando Norris, who qualified P2, went straight out of top 10 by lap 16 of the race. But Norris and his team are poised to learn from their mistakes coming into this race. Also, MCL 60 seems to be best of the rest among other cars behind RB19, so a podium for Lando Norris is without a doubt a possibility. Maybe Oscar Piastri can join his teammate on the podium, it remains to be seen. Alonso not in top five. Fernando Alonso's brilliance continues to captivate F1 fans. In Zandvoort, he showcased his skill once more when the car was competitive enough. Alonso faced a challenging stretch in Austria, Silverstone, and Spa, where the car lacked competitiveness. However, as soon as the car regained its potency, Alonso surged back to the top. His resurgence is a welcome sight for F1 enthusiasts, and he's performing exceptionally well in that Aston Martin. But the AMR23 doesn't perform well at all if the track is not suited to the car or the setup choice is wrong from the team. Looking into the technical details and past performance of the car, Monza is not well suited to the Aston Martin car. Our prediction is that this lack of performance at certain tracks will lead to Alonso finishing out of the top five in the Italian GP. Alex Albin will score points. Alexander Albin is driving the Williams car up to its limits in every race this season. Being the only point scorer in his team, he looks forward to repeating the same in Monza. The Williams FW45 with its less complex floor design is not suited to the tight corner track such as Monaco, but due to its high top speed and better straight line acceleration, it is one of the faster cars for Autodromo Nazionale Monza. Just like the Canadian GP where Albin took advantage of the car's speed on straights, he will do the same at the Italian GP and will fend off its competitors to score more points for the Williams team. Lewis Hamilton will finish in top five. While the Brackley-based team failed to score a podium or get into top five at the Dutch GP, the Mercedes W14 showed some brilliant pace in the race. Russell, who started from P3, went down to P17 due to pit stop errors, but carved its way back to the top, showing his skills and also the car's performance compared to other cars. Lewis Hamilton also had a somewhat damage limitation race due to changing weather conditions, but managed to finish ahead of his teammate at P6. The Mercedes team has brought an upgrade package for the Italian GP, which include a small cord upper rear wing and a small cord beam wing, to reduce downforce and improve the W14's straight line efficiency. These upgrades will help Lewis Hamilton to finish in top five as per our predictions and maybe even challenge for a podium finish. That wraps up today's video. Who do you think will emerge victorious in the race? Can Ferrari learn from their past mistakes and improve, or will the Tifosi witness another disappointing outcome? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest uploads. We'll see you at the finish line.